Welcome back to the time warp year of 20, not 19, as we play a game from the past. That is my favorite thing right now. We continue the Evolve train rolling into another episode where we get to be a monster that I know and love. Kraken has phenomenal skins. Almost all of them are absolutely incredible. We're going to settle on Voodoo for today. And after a few disappointing Gorgon losses, let's go with somebody that I think can really bring the boom. Unstoppable. Uh, I want to go with Scale Armor and then Evolve Recovery. I think that's going to be nice. We got a Slim Sunny combo, which is dangerous. Slim is just tough to tackle. We'll see how it goes. We'll push and push and try to destroy. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for being here. Appreciate all the support. Love that you're loving this game like I love it. And I think about what game will fill this kind of spot for me next and i was looking at like what does what does a game need to do to be something that i want to cover endlessly on youtube and it's it's interesting because i'm typically a single player person but it's really the multiplayer stuff that grabs me and is motivating me to create tons of content look at the amount of videos i made for evolve plants for zombies garden war things of that sort so what game could fill that spot what game that is releasing later this year could do Kind of what Evolve does, having a unique multiplayer style that is worthy of a ton of videos, a ton of different options, characters, variety, strategy, and that really grabs me because it's been the For Honors, the Evolves, the Plants for Zombies, Garden Warfares that have been the most fun for me to cover with you guys on YouTube. Obviously, we're going to keep covering Evolve. Don't worry about that. But what else could it be? And when I was looking at the list of games, it's pretty darn sparse the rest of the year. I'm sure there'll be plenty of stuff, but right now... Things that are dated, it, it's it, they're few and far between. You got some good stuff coming out in the summer. Uh, you know, we got like Fire Emblem Three Houses, Crash Team Racing, Mua Three. Eventually, we'll have Jedi Fallen Order. We now know that Call of Duty Modern Warfare, just Modern Warfare, is coming out. But other than that, there's not a whole lot on the horizon. I mean, there are a lot of things on the horizon, but not dated or specifically detailed. So E3 is going to be a bonanza, I think, for Q3 and four uh, games. What all will they be? We know Nintendo's offerings, uh, but what will Microsoft bring to the table? Gears 5, of course. Anything else? What will the other publishers? Ubisoft has Ghost Breakpoint, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, but uh, what else will they have? Are they going to roll out a Watch Dogs 3 or a Splinter Cell? Or is that being saved for 2020 or maybe even saved for next gen? And that's part of the problem as well. We're in a uh, spot, a year, where everybody is gearing up for what comes next, especially if Microsoft does the smart thing and brings the Xbox next out in March. I think that would behoove them so much. It's such a nice spot, and then you can get out ahead of Sony. You don't have to compete directly with them. And maybe that's why all these companies are saying they got games coming before the end of fiscal. Because that would make sense and line up with a March console launch. Anyhow, what game could it be? It's not going to be Call of Duty. It's not going to be Gears. I'll play those games. I'll like them. But I look at it and I say, it's got to be a game that does not rely on super Twitch shooting. It does not... Re required me to play hundreds of hours to master my specific Twitch skill in a game. I just don't have the time nor the desire. That's why stuff like Rainbow Six Siege and Call of Duty never become long-standing series for me, because I enjoy them, I'll play them, but I will not be competitive at the way that I want, which is at least a mediocre level of competitiveness, and I won't understand them because I don't play hundreds of hours. I love games that have different characters, classes, maps and styles that you can explore that aren't necessarily Twitch based. They're skill based, of course. It takes a lot to be great at Evolve. I don't think I am, but it does take a lot. It takes a lot to be awesome at something like For Honor. But it's just not the same, you know? So I'm looking for games of that style. If you know any, please let me know. Even if they're indie. I saw some really cool indie stuff at PAX East. Multiplayer fun. I mean, I mean, and there's still good multiplayer games that just aren't suited for my style on YouTube. Like, I play plenty of stuff from Nintendo, Mario Tennis Aces, and Astro Bears Party. And I'm, I'm loving, you know, the, the co op competitive spirit that the Switch has from the indie scene. Things like Overcooked are phenomenal. And I saw a bunch of PAX East that I'm excited to play, but but they won't elicit or need 50 YouTube videos. So do you have any games that you're paying attention to or that you know that might fill that spot? Or do you think I'll have to wait until next gen? You know, to me, the end of a gen is a great time to be creative, a great time to take a risk because there's still dollars to be spent, but a lot of companies are saving up, right? So it's a really good chance to get either a quirky idea 
or a new property out there. Now, some people may say, hey, it's way better to do at the start of a generation because people are excited and they're willing to try anything because there's less choice and people now can still go backwards and buy all the games that came out earlier in the year or last year or the year before or whatever. I don't know. I, I still think there's room and, and space um, for a good, old-fashioned new idea. Something in the Evolve spectrum. And frankly, a lot of that may be swallowed up also by free-to-play. Because there are cool ideas in the Fortnite Battle Royale space. I just hate those games. I'm sorry. I, I wish that I didn't. I just absolutely hate them. And I, and I wish I could like them more. Um, I wish I had more fun with them. I wish I was better at them. It's just very hard because I find no enjoyment, no joy whatsoever uh, out of those kinds of games. And yet that's all the craze and that's where everyone's investing their time. Like Apex Legends, I'm sure there's tons of cool skins, there's tons of cool ideas. It would be a, a ripe for a lot of YouTube videos. Unfortunately, it's just not my kind of thing. Um, we're going to lose some health here. But we should get the... Oh, wow. Sunny got... Sunny get healed up. Sunny did get healed up. Nice job. Slim over there on the heels. Probably should have attacked Sunny first. Um, we're down a bar at health. Uh, not Sunny first, sorry, Slim first. Slim is doing a great job healing. Gnome is deployed. Um, they are chewing into my health. I forgot that Kraken requires quite a bit of discipline. Yeah, they're not doing well. Or I'm not doing well. They're doing great. They're doing fan freaking fantastic. Sunny over here. Uh, not really using her shield, but oh, there's her shield. Definitely dodging well. I'm trying to stay to the skies. The dome is down, and I got to get out of here. This is bad, bad, bad. That's three bars of health, and we're setting up poorly. I could love a perk right now. I knew Slim was going to be trouble. I knew it was going to be trouble. I'm so sorry. I'm so freaking sorry. Um, I've got it set to favor hunters, but I still should be able to do better than this. I'm thinking of also playing some arena mode. Um, at some point here, that's the one where it's just like monster battle right off the bat. Best of three or best of five. You just go at it. Those are pretty fun. They're tricky, uh, but they're fun. That was a very bad encounter. I, I thought at stage two, Kraken would have the strength to really deal with them. And I guess I just, I missed a few um, lightning bolts and yeah, probably should have gone after Slim. I thought I could get Sunny, but I guess with her shield and all the, the action that Slim is doing in the background, probably not the best. The hard thing about this is these rounds are so short. And once they get to three, they go and just camp the uh, the generator, as they should. Um, but it would be great if I was getting some some downs, some pips, some damage uh, earlier in this timeline, rather than just it taking me to the very end to have the oom. Um. Also, just like, frankly, I haven't played these monsters in forever. So you've seen me play Goliath, you've seen me play Gorgon, um, but, and, and Behemoth, who I, I love, but... Kraken is my old favorite. I just have not played Kraken in a really long time. So we'll get the swing of it. It's kind of like a new a new old learning curve, right? We're back into the beginnings of Evolve way later in Evolve. So I've got the knowledge. I probably don't have the muscle memory to pull it off. As we were talking about, don't, don't didn't put the time in to get that quick twitch skill where it needs to be. We're going to grab our stage 3 evolution here. Um, yes, we are. They're over there. You can see them. Get out of their way. Go evolve. I should probably go by the generator, then they come to me. I don't know. Maybe that's what we want to do here. Head back to the big dam where I first battled it out with Lazarus against Kraken. Kraken debuted at E3. I was on stage playing the game. That's where a beautiful love affair began. All right, let's go evolve by the generator and eat Sure, I, I mean, I don't know, it's cheap, but I could go for a generator victory. It's not it's not fun or fancy. I never do this. I never do it, but I, I guess I could put the, the pressure on them. I mean, maybe that's also why it's harder in these modes, because the, the AI is, the knows to defend the generator. I never go after the generator, so it, it puts them in complete control. Um, I'm going to go Vortex and Banshee Mines there. Probably should have just upped Aftershot, but I like having my variety of attack. All right, Relay is vulnerable. Well, no, no, no. Sit down. The relay is under attack. I mean, this is not the way to go, but it maybe it's the way to go. Alright, I'm just gonna hang tight here then. My armor should channel. They're gonna come in here. Um I mean they're gonna once they camp the relay, they camp the relay. Relay shield at maximum Get him get that slim, slim cookie. Come here, buddy. All right, Slim is great because he can be he can be effective, he can be damaging and uh, healing all at the same time, and he his damage 
works towards heals. Um, they don't have big damage being dealt, but Slim is just he's he is the hardest or the hardest medic for me to take down personally. I mean Val and and Laz do do their own thing, especially when you're missing like I am. Uh, it becomes deadly and not good. My Lazarus, uh, I, I miss being the hunters honestly. Uh, my armor is already down. This is not going well. Yeah, this is this is a team that I'm just gonna struggle mightily with. Arr, all right. I don't know what to do against these guys. Slim is just so freaking effective. I mean, that's a good hit, but again, look how quickly he pops that health back. Ugh, I know some people don't like Slim. I've always thought he was super good. and I mean, look at this. This is just terrible. This is, this is terrible for us. What do I do against a squad like this? What am I doing so wrong? Because this is just bad news. I mean, we're not, we're not going to get a single, single down here at all. I mean, I know I shouldn't be missing my, my lightning bolts. That's mission critical. But they're just absolutely going to take me out. Yeah. All right, we're back in it. Determined to not go down that easily. A new randomized hunter squad. A refocused Kraken. I, I, I changed up the perks I start with. I don't know, the dam is just devoid of, of elite wildlife. Maybe that's just a thing and I, I forget about it. But there's nothing here providing a perk. And that's part of the reason we're struggling. Because normally we get like that extra attack damage or extra cooldown reduction. Those things really go a long way uh, to assisting us in our adventure. I know Emmett is the medic. You can see uh, his little beacon of fun there. Um, let's try... And see if we can pop a pip before we hit stage three. It's just, it's too much pressure to know that they're all sitting there waiting in a, in a flat open dam where we have no geometry. I was thinking about that as well. Like, I'm facing off against them in open, in like a giant open geometry. Yeah, there's like that uh, center cylinder in the center. Uh, but other than that, it's just like a wide open thing. Of course, they're super able to just deal mass damage all at once. So I really would love to run to them now. Where maybe I could get somebody down, get an Emmett down. I think they have Bucket as well. Grab Bucket, we're, you know, about 65% of the way. To our third evolution. Right now sitting hungry on uh, a, tr a three star Lightning Bolt and a three star Vortex. I really would love to find them also so that we've got time in the round to make this happen. Where are they at? Follow the footsteps is hard. There's so freaking many. Which way are they go? Oh, they're going this way? I don't know. I don't even know. You got my footsteps. You got their footsteps. Can I, can I kill these things? I should be able to, right? No, yes. Hey. Break your funky monkey beacons. Good night. Oh, here they are. The boys are back. All right. They got the dome. And we got Emmett there. I can get around. This is not good. But they're going to all group up. For a little bit of a, a little bit of love in there, um, we'll sit on him. This should be a nice electro volt. I uh, would love to get Emmett. Let's get him in this nice electric vortex here. Who's on that? Oh, it's electro Griffin. I was like, who is on that? The beautiful, uh, amazing, wonderful, freaking superstar annoying. Oh wow, great dodge, Emmett. Great dodge. My armor is out. Emmett is almost down though. We can get him here. One. Ah, uh, he got a nice heal. Nice heal. I'm keeping it okay. Get him in the lightning strike. That's going to be down. Oh, wow. Whoever shielded him, amazing shield right there. Man, Kraken is just, like, not getting any luck. Okay, that's a down. We only lose a bar-ish. That's, that's, that's better. Kind of what I wanted. Um, maybe a little bit less, or a little bit more lost than I wanted there. Um, Torvald, I need this. I need this and get out. Go. I don't know, Torvald, maybe he's recharging, but he absolutely could have uh, could have shot me there. Getting that round ends in 448, but this one should be a more uh, competitive and ferocious finish, I hope. I left the Hunters with the scales tipped in their direction. I didn't mess with that. I was tempted, but I, I want to I at least challenge them. If we have to switch it, we will, because my, my fingers just don't work as fast as I need them to. And my skills are rusty, but... Let's see if we can push him a bit here. Um, again, I like fighting, not necessarily. Oh, there they are again. Okay, and they can't dome me right now. That's a miss. Where, where's Emmett at? Got a nice little boost there from whoever. Um, probably shouldn't just come sit in the middle of their play field, uh, but I want to. I'm gonna try to take the skies again. Good get. Up against the wall. Come on. 
Come on, they're missing. I'm striking. Sit on them. Come on, Torval is getting some big hits here, but if we can get this right here, this should be us. This should be us. Oh, man, come on. Yes, he's down again. Okay, and I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Two on Emmett. This might be in our favor, and I, I feel like I'm playing a lot better strategy now. The realizations I had about the Stage 3 dumb clash at the, the freaking generator are very true, and if I refuse to take out the generator, then I gotta play smart and not let it all come down to one open battlefield. Um... Part of me wants to just get him now, but I could evolve up. I could... I kind of want to kill Emmett, evolve, and then go for the kill. What do you guys think? Um, Electro Griffin is just chilling over here. They're still moving as a good unit. If they dome me, I'm going to be in trouble. But if I can get Emmett down, that should end the dome quite quickly. And they've got their their shields up. Let that, I guess, wear out. It's wearing out. And Emmett is right here walking into my trap. They hit it again hard. All right, this is not good in a cave for uh, our boy Kraken, but we're going to go heavy on Emmett here in the corner. He uses heals, so if we can just keep him... Yeah, he's going to get him right here. Come on, one more, one more, one more. Oh, God, good get, good get, good get. Probably should have taken to the skies here. They're going to chew into my health a little bit. Got him. No. Got him. Medic is dead. Okay. And the dome is not down? What the heck? Wowzer Bowser. How is that going to work? Electro Griffin. Getting hit here, um, not moving very fast, being kind of dumb. Uh, let's see, hit him with the, the Vortex, can we get him down two downs, and then we can go grab that Evolution two downs and we're good, okay. Medic is out, and we only lost a little bit of health, okay. I don't know if they're going to pursue in this case. Got 54 seconds, they're right there, Trapper is back, but if we can evolve, get our armor back, and then try to deal damage before Emmett returns, I think they're going to probably try to wait on him. Uh, they're... they're I got, I got to back out of it. I got to back out. Shoot. Okay, they want, they want to fight. That's very interesting. Okay, this is gonna create a very unique scenario here. I don't. Dang it! Uh, barely a miss on Electro Griffin. If we can get him down again, that'll be good. Emmett's gonna come back, but he should be a quick get. Um, now that he's got two pips on him, uh, and feeling the pain, Electro Griffin gonna go down again. Maybe we just get him here. Maybe we just go here. Torvald lighten it up, which is nice. I do not have hardly any health. I mean, any... Oh, Trapper goes down. Trapper is dead. We might be able to get him here without the evolution. If I can get Bucket right here, uh, Emmett's gonna come back probably just at the right moment. Sit in my... Yep, okay. Bucket is gonna go down. Bucket's dead. My armor is destroyed. Where is Torvald? Is he... Did he take off? Torvald? No, Torvald's here. He's gonna go try to get the, the revive. I don't know if he's used his shield or not. This could fare very poorly for us here. Can I pounce on him? No, he's got the shields. Okay, dang it, and Emmett is back. Okay, this, oh, please don't. Support came back too. Shoot! Okay. We gotta take Emmett out. I probably should have bailed and, and played the long game to get to stage three, huh? Ugh, and, oh wow. Why is it casting it so far away? Why are you doing that to me? Emmett's got full health here, and Torvald in chase. We're gonna aggressively chase Emmett. We gotta, I gotta get him down so I can build back armor. I have to kill him to build back this armor. Please, 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 please. Oh gosh, this is not going well. Another terrible decision on our part. Let's find out. Please. Should have gone and taken the evolve when I had the chance. Medic is dead. I got very little health. They're not coming back for two minutes. Okay, so we got to evolve and finish this fight as fast as we can. They have no medic, but we have very, very little health. Oh man, did I goof this up again? All the lessons of evolve biting me in the butt all at once. Goodness gracious sakes alive. Um, I'm not even going to mess with Banshee Mines. My Aftershock just wasn't strong enough to probably go to the ground. I probably should have stayed in the skies. I win a little bit of health back. Still a minute 50 without Emmett, which is great. Um, I don't know if... Is, is everybody else back? or Are they sitting with two or are they sitting with three? I don't know. But I'm going to go after him. I don't know if this is going to work out. I, I might have made a, a mistake. Got to basically play perfect in these instances. Especially when there's... Uh, Bucket is back. Okay. They're going to get the dome... Electro Griffin has two. If we sit now, we've got a much more powerful Aftershock. It doesn't deal as much as I'd like, but it's better. Bucket, get him. we gotta get him here. Gotta get him here. Okay, that's Bucket against the wall. Bucket is down. Okay. Bucket is down. Electro Griffin can be quick. Electro Griffin will be a quick kill if we get him. Right here, and then the a Lightning, please. Good Lightning Strike. Good Lightning Strike. Putting damage on both. Come on. They've got no one to heal. This should be our game. Trapper is dead, and it's just me versus Torval. We're gonna get it. Oh, baby. You scared me, Hunter Crew. 
You did good, and I guess they still have a chance. Let's make sure that we focus in and finish this fight. We'll get that aftershock, which should damage him. His shield is about to deploy, and now we should be okay. And it's going to be a cracking victory. Got those weak spots, but you're feeling weaker, Torvald, all by yourself. A big cracking win after a crummy first round. We'll double up this episode, bring you another, and get an incredible victory. Mud and blood covering our monster, but we still come out on top. What game is going to be the next one? For me to really look out for in this style you got any ideas is it anything in 2019 or are we wait until 2020 and maybe even the new consoles let me know your take in the comments down below everybody thanks for being here thanks for supporting appreciate it so much until next time drink so much all thanks again i love you and we'll see you all later